Sometimes it's real hard to break those old habits. You find yourself asking, is it really that bad for me? Well, take neckties for one thing. You want them nice and tight, looking right, high and tight, but could your tie be too tight? There's an internet rumor that a tight tie could increase a man's risk of glaucoma. <laughs> Ophthalmologist and eye surgeon Dr. Brian is back, and he's going to help us answer the question. So, Brian, is it really that bad for you? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a study in New York that tested eye pressure in men before and after they put on a necktie. And what they found was that when you put the necktie on, the pressure in the eye actually went up. When they took the necktie off, it came back down. And the reason that this can occur is because the pressure of the necktie can start to cut off some of the veins that drain out of the head and the eye so it can raise the pressure. And as a result, I recommend now that all neckties have a warning for glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just Definitely, kidding. Well, yeah. we have a little test. And you know, your necktie does as your shirt collar does. You only get it as tight as the shirt. So it's the finger test. If you can get one finger inside your shirt, Michael, can you get a finger you in there? A finger that a boy. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Looking good, then that means it's not too tight. But conversely, and if I, I've had this happen to me, that you put on a shirt, it is clearly too tight around the collar and you tighten your tie, you start feeling a little constricted there. So you don't want to feel that. And I like to call it the lollipop test. So if you're in the mirror and you're putting on your tie and you look like a cherry flavored lollipop, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably too tight. Good time to loosen up a little. Well, I have some male patients and female patients both that come into my office and the way that they get their shirt size is based on the circumference around their neck. So they'll have a 16 and a half inch neck, 17 inch neck, what have you. And they'll say randomly, doctor, you know, my shirt size now doesn't fit well. And that's a really good sign to say, hey, I need to see the doctor because it could be a sign for some early thyroid disease, some lymph node issues, even some tumors that secrete growth hormone. So the neck is really a good place to look for that if you have something unusual going on, that should trigger you to go see a doctor. And so just to be clear, so there are a lot of neckties out there in the world. <laughs> So do you think that this is a real culprit? Because glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness in the United States. So are neckties partially to blame? Like really, should we be worried? I don't think we could say neckties cause glaucoma. If it's too tight. Right, but I think if someone has glaucoma okay. and you increase that pressure, you're counteracting all the other things that are happening with the eye doctor to lower the pressure. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Brian. You. All right, another question. Maybe you've done it, but sometimes you just got to go and you urinate in the shower. <laughs> it may sound gross, but is it really that bad for you? I, I mean, urine is sterile unless you're actively having an infection, so I don't see it being bad for you. Uh, now, that being said, there's uh, something that makes us different from animals, right? And that's that we take care of ourselves. When we go use a restroom, we do it in a clean way, in a sanitary way. So... I can shower with my partner in the same room, but now if I'm gonna start peeing in the shower, they're not gonna to wanna to be in the same room as me. So I think it, it's really personal preference. I'll pass on that. I mean, well, what's you the big deal? The water's heads. flowing. Yeah. It's being flushed right then and there. I mean, it's like goes down the... So it's a yes for you. It's a yes for me. What about you had a I mean, was there any doubt? But you know, the Huffington Post said 61% of Americans pee in the shower. I know, so shameless, it's shameless it's shower Well, that's Huffington yeah, Post. Like, hey. we, we did our own poll too, Dr. B. We asked our viewers if they've ever urinated in the shower, and guess what? 89% admit they have. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> I don't know. I get it, Dr. Boucher. I love the environment, but and I respect your way of life, Dr. Orton, but I don't want to pee in the shower. And I, I will, I'll recycle, I'll do other things for the environment. Well, and, 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 the and the one time never to shower or never pee in the shower, sorry, is if you have a urinary tract infection. Yes. Don't spread that bacteria. Definitely True. pee in the toilet. And if you're sharing a shower with, with somebody, as Mike alluded to, <laughs> maybe, maybe ask first before you do it. Make sure. <laughs> Hey, like, are you okay if I pee in the shower? This is, this is normally the way I roll, but is it okay with you?